Did I blow my head gasket? Let's find out. And let me show you how to do it so you can find out about yours as well. So this right here is my 86 Toyota Motorhome. This head gasket does not go to this. This goes to a different vehicle. But over the last couple years, last couple times I've driven it, um, I drive it across country, but I'll drive it 10, 15 hour stints at a time. Um, it's been losing a little bit of coolant and I don't see a noticeable leak anywhere, but it's been eating what's in the reservoir. I took the reservoir out, made sure it wasn't leaking, but the coolant is just dropping a little bit. It's not overheating, which is a symptom of a blown head gasket and it's not blowing any excessive steam or smoke out the uh, exhaust. So there's actually a really easy way to tell if exhaust gases like on this are actually leaking into the combustion chamber. Here on this one, that's exactly what was happening. Um, blew out right here and right here and essentially coolant was leaking into the cylinder and cylinder gases were pushing into the coolant. But luckily, there's a very easy way to do it and it's with a uh, chemical test set. Um, first, what you're going to need is this. It's called a combustion leak indicator fluid. It's pretty simple. What it does is it pulls the uh, the air out of the out of the radiator and senses if there's any exhaust gases in there because there shouldn't be any. But it starts out um, like a greenish blue, and if there are combustion gases in there, it turns to yellow. So you know that you have um, the two systems, the cooling system and the combustion system, are intermingling and it's going to cost you money. Now this right here, I just picked this up off Amazon for under 10 bucks. It's a big, way cheaper than my local auto parts store. But my auto parts store did come in handy um, with tool rental. Um, local to me, I have AutoZones and O'Reilly Auto Parts and they do free tool rentals. So I got this um, combustion leak tester for free. Uh, you know, I pay them 25 bucks and then I give it back to them and they give me back my 25 bucks and I can keep it for three months. So this right here, just sits right on top of my radiator, kind of seals up around there. I put that fluid in here. I use this device right here and it sucks the air up, up through. You can hear it bubbling away and pulls out any air and I see if I have combustion leaks. Now the engine needs to be cold, but now I'm going to start it and run it. Um, and while it's heating up, I'm also going to be drawing the bubbles up through here to determine if I have a head gasket leak. Now I do need to make sure my fluid is dropped down to a level where it's not going to suck up into there. And this isn't going to seal off. This is actually a really small opening. So I might actually have to uh, pinch off my hose right here to my uh, overflow tank because I think it's going to pull air through there as well. So I'll pinch this off and insert this and pour a little bit of fluid in here. I said greenish blue, but it's pure blue. So now, we'll start up the vehicle. And you can see it just bubbling up, pulling any air that might be trapped in the uh, radiator. Let that sit for a little while. I'll run the engine for 10 minutes or so and I'll come back to you. Great news, I do not have a head gasket leak. I've been pulling this through for the last about 10 minutes. I mean, if you've got a head gasket leak, it'll show up right away. But still nice and blue, just like when I started. So now let me show you what it looks like when you do have a head gasket leak. Same fluid, so let's see what happens when just a little bit of exhaust gases pass through. Oh yeah, instantly. Instant yellow. Thankfully, I don't have a head gasket leak. And it wasn't putting off too many symptoms of it. You know, I was losing a little bit of coolant, but it wasn't, you know, one of the biggest symptoms is overheating. Usually people chase overheating issues and it's a head gasket problem or steam out the exhaust, but that's a pretty obvious one. But I do not have one in this situation, so good for me. I'm sorry if you're watching this and you do, but this is a great test to determine whether or not you do. Um, and they do sell this also um, for diesels. It's a different one. Um, I've never tried the diesel one, but they do sell one for diesel. So for, I think, under 10 bucks, like nine bucks, um, and this I just borrowed. But for nine bucks, I got peace of mind, and I know I don't have a blown head gasket through the, um, through the coolant system. 
But thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and go motorhome. It's fun. And if you didn't catch from the video, this is a motorhome. And this is a four-cylinder. Four-cylinder pushing a motorhome. Yep. It does it. 1987 Toyota with a 22RE um, engine. It's 2.4 liter, I believe. Yeah, 2.4 liter. Um, awesome machine. Absolutely love it. I've driven it all over the United States and even up through Canada a couple times. So this summer is probably going to go a lot more. If you guys want to see walk-around videos of it, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.